Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Higher purchase accounts, we have seen journal entries and ledger accounts in the books of purchaser. Right? Now today we will see in the books of higher vendor. In the books of seller, how do we write the journal entries and also ledger accounts. Same problem I have taken last class, whatever problem I have taken, same problem because you will get more clarity with the same problem than journal entries in the books of purchaser, in the books of higher vendor. Very clear. So, problem is as it is. I need not to explain anything. And the calculation of interest, depreciation we have done already. Now, let us enter into the journal entries. Journal entries in the books of purchaser, how many entries were there? In the books of purchaser, how many? Yes, 6. Here also 6 entries. Reverse. General interest. They are supposed to say uh, in the books of purchaser for purchasing an asset, general entry, asset account attached to higher vendor account. Here it comes to for selling the asset. Simple reverse. Now I will explain you very clearly. Uh, general interest in the books of sham and company. Now here also make general interest in the books of sham and company. Purchaser is ram and company, seller is sham and company. Now in the books of seller, sham and company or higher vendor we are preparing. First general entry, there it was purchasing the asset. Now it is selling the asset. When uh, sham and company is selling the asset, he will be getting cash. So the entry will be ram and company account attached to sales account. When he gets the cash, he would have written cash account attached to sales account. Now here higher purchase, credit basis. So we are writing the purchaser name here. Ram and company account attached to higher sales account. Okay. Ram and company account attached to higher sales. So what is the amount? You know that uh, 12,000, where it is? Uh, 12,894 we have written. Selling is only one time. So second year no entries. Then second entry is here. Uh, here you can write the narration. Being the asset sold to ram and company being the machinery sold to ram and company you can write in that way also next one for a uh, down payment there also it was for down payment for down payment he is receiving the cash isn't it ram and company is sham and company is receiving the cash vendor is receiving whenever vendor is receiving bank account attached to from where he is re receiving receiving from Ram and company. Debit what comes in? Credit the giver. Whenever we are saving. So, bank account attached to Ram and company. So, this is for down payment 2000 rupees. Down payment is over. Next, interest. There, interest due. Now, here, interest receiving. Okay. So, from where he is receiving? Ram and company. Going to receive. So, Ram and company account attached to interest account. There it was interest account attached to other part, person name account, right? So here interest, there interest debited, now here interest credited. Very easy to remember because it's income here. There it was expenses, expenses debited in the purchases book, purchaser book. Now for the seller it is income, so interest is credited. Ram and company account attached to interest account. Interest all the interest you will be writing every year 545 no, interest so every year we are writing first year 545 second year 372 and uh, third year 189 okay then after that fourth entry is for making the first installment there he made first installment now here he is receiving first installment whenever he is receiving down payment or first installment entry is same bank account attached to from where he is receiving from Ram and Company. Same entry. Same entry comes here. Bank account attached to Ram and Company account. What is this? Installment receiving. For receiving the installment narration. There, interest receiving. Here, installment. For receiving the first installment. How much is the amount? 4000 for the first year. Second year also 4000. Third year also 4000. So, like interest is over. Next, fifth entry. Here, we don't have depreciation to provide. Depreciation will not be there in the books of vendor. In the books of seller, depreciation we don't provide. 
but we have interest interest is to be transferred to the profit and loss account interest is here credit side credit side means income so profit and loss account you will be writing on the credit side so the it it is like this interest account attached to profit and loss account isn't it profit and loss account when you get interest where do you write credit side same entry profit and loss account is credited so interest is debited interest account attached to profit and loss account for receiving the interest okay uh, for transferring the interest to the profit and loss account receiving the interest is this one okay now this is for transferring to the profit and loss account narration you can write being interest transferred to pnl account being interest transferred to pnl account okay now later Sixth entry, sales also to be transferred. Where do we transfer the sales? Sales will be always in the trading account. Which side trading account? Buy sales you will write now. So this entry we are passing it. Transferring the sales to the trading account. So sales is on the credit side. So entry comes sales account attached to trading account. See, higher sales account attached to trading account. being sales transferred to the trading account being sales transferred to the trading account this entry comes only in the 2020 year sales only one time happened so that is transferred second year third year no sales so we didn't write anything am i clear six entries let me tell you once again first entry is here for selling the asset second entry is for receiving the down payment third entry is here for interest fourth entry for receiving the first installment fifth entry is transferring the interest to the profit and loss account last entry is transferring the sales to the trading account so this 1 2 6 comes only one time that is 2020 year and rest of the entries like third fourth fifth three years you'll get general entries are over now coming to the ledger accounts ledger accounts in the books of sham first will prepare ram and account so ram and company account this and also interest account and higher sales account three accounts we can prepare important thing is ram and company account ram and company account first you see first year but let's focus on the first year first year we have ram and company debit side so debit side we are writing two higher sales opposite one this we have written and where is ram and company second entry also credit side so credit side by bank amount 2000 return and ram and company debit side so you will write to interest to interest 545 again ram and company for first installment credit side so by bank first installment and uh, where else that's all so four entries we have 1 2 3 4 close the first year total it is 13439 13439 minus 6000 you are getting 7439 this is to be transferred to the next year balance carried down and balance brought down second year onwards you need not to see anything if you see first year transactions you can follow it as it is see i'll tell you one technique this is for sales sales one time only so it doesn't comes so what we have interest here also we'll write interest but amount is changing first year interest was 545 second year interest 3 372 372 return now on the credit side this doesn't comes because it was a initial payment only one time no initial payment now this oh, is going to continue by bank account what is this installment amount second year installment also 4000 and uh, nothing else so total is 7811 uh, minus 4000 we are getting 3811 carried on brought down third year also two interest account two interest same thing continues but third year interest is 189 is written in third year we have once again the same entry by bank account 4000 will write third year it will get tallied there also higher vendor account got tallied here also purchaser 
higher purchaser account is also got tallied this is important general interest if you understand direct you can without general interest also you can practice need not to go for general interest see for example whenever you are purchasing any asset it comes on the debit side purchasing asset there it was on the credit side now he is selling debit side it comes and also for the initial anything is received credit side he has received initial amount and also installment amount and here debit side interest because it's an income so like this same continues over in that way also you can remember and interest account interest account is very simple where do we have interest here 1 and 2 here interest is credited so credit side by ram and company 545 and interest is transferred to profit and loss account so interest is was debited so debit side profit and loss account every year same entries by uh, ram and company 545 by ram and company 372 by ram and company 189 here to profit and loss account 545 once again to profit and loss account 372 to profit and loss account 189 it means providing interest and transferring to pnl account that's all and also we are preparing higher sales account very simple higher sales are only two entries we have in the first year one entry and second entry in between no entries first entry it it was on the credit side so credit side i am writing by ram and company how much it is 12894 and also transferring this to the trading account higher sales are on the debit side so debit side we are writing to trading account same amount over very simple in the books of vendor very easy if you understand in the books of purchaser vendor is easy purchaser is more important am i clear screenshot yes next class we will work out one problem <clears throat> where installment amounts are different in this problem what happened installment was 4000 same every year same installment you are pay, making payment now installment if it is changing how to work out that we will see in the next class stay connected check out the playlist and also don't forget to share this videos practice well good luck